What's up YouTube? This is CJ and Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another Keto Conversations. So let's get this started. Okay, so this week we're back with another Keto Conversation and it is talking about the issue of uh, being a slow loser on Keto. Uh, what we mean by that is, you know, Keto has a reputation of a lot of you hear a lot of times where people are losing weight really fast. You see magazines, you see the mag check stand, you know, yeah. I lost 50 pounds in two minutes. And yeah, you, you know, you see all kinds of claims about keto. You may even know people. You may even have a spouse who's lost a considerable amount of weight. Or a relative, a neighbor, or a relative, whoever it is. Right, but you may be uh, what they call a slow loser. And we just want to talk about some of those reasons um, tonight. So uh, we will... This article is uh, loosely based on a blog post that we read over at uh, the Keto Evangelist site. Uh, a lot of good information over there, and uh, but we're not going to read word for word yeah. from. They the do thing. encourage us to share their yeah. blog posts so, on our our own platform. And they have five points, and we actually have six points. You might not even know that. <laughs> I oh, did yeah, not. So Woo, I'm surprised. All I love right. surprises. So, number one, <laughs> uh, hidden sugars and starches might be one of the reasons, or a couple of the reasons for you being a slow loser. Yeah, and even if you're not new to the ketogenic diet, sometimes you can be using a product and you don't even realize that there's something hidden in there. Like I was at the dollar store yesterday and they had these salt and vinegar pork rinds. I'm like, oh, that sounds good because I love salt and vinegar. But then, you know, I read the ingredients and one of the ingredients was maltodextrin. So, yeah, now, so what is maltodextrin? We say um, that a lot, but okay. a lot of people might not even know what that is. Dextrin is a hybrid of dextrose, which is sugar, and, and it's usually in a powdered form. So it's usually a sugar that is bound with a starch. So... It's a sugar and a starch, so it's bad news. We and don't so want anything with so multidextrin that can affect in it. Your, affect your insulin, yes. spike your insulin. Your body will react to it like a yeah. sugar or a starch. So, um, and, and it's, these are things that are hidden in a lot of the foods we eat. Um, condiments. Condiments. Salad dressings. Yes, and, snacks. and we realize, you know, uh, we realize that from time to time we may have a mix on that we might use, right. but we try to use a minimal amount, right. and we also, so we are aware of stuff as we're cooking and living the keto life ourselves, uh, you know, we just got off a of vacation, we didn't have any, uh, Lily's, Lily's chocolate, <laughs> so we bought a substitute, but we knew that, that substitute had, um, maltitol, maltitol mm -hmm. in it. And it was for a limited yeah, period, was for of, time. A limited it was period for a of time. It was for a couple of days, and right. that's gone now. And we've moved on. So yeah. So, but the thing is, you need to be aware that that could be. And this is if you're having difficulties. There are some people who don't have difficulties have, with things like that, and they're true. still able to lose it. So this is basically, of course, we all strive to clean up our diets yeah. as we move along in the keto journey, but. You know, if you find that you are having a hard time losing or if you're, you know, suffering any kind of plateaus or a, a certain amount of slowness, then it might be something to consider looking for yeah, these things. Yeah, it, it might be, right, because these things could be hidden in, in the foods that you're eating every day. There's right. things that you're not even thinking about that could be there. And, you know, unless you look for them and maybe try to eliminate them. Right, then it's, you, you it's know. worth giving it a try at least, yeah. you know, cutting it out and seeing you if don't things know. So that, that's just one potential uh, reason you might be right. a slow loser. Number two, uh, you've been a yo-yo dieter and cal calorie counter. And I know that I would fall into that category. Um, I did diets, have dieted for years, right. multiple most, types of diets. Most people who have a certain amount of insulin resistance or metabolic syndrome fall into this category. Yeah, and, but, and the reason that may be an issue is because by doing those yo-yo diet, diets or calorie restrictions, you may have caused damage to your metabolism. Right. Um, right. Which, so it may have slowed down just as a protection and system. And usually it happens over a number of years. Yes. Yeah. It's interesting. I was listening to a podcast on my drive home from work this morning, 
and it was Vanessa Spina. She's known as the ketogenic girl. She has a podcast, but she had Dr. Lemansky on there, and he's kind of like a keto biohacker. I think he has a podcast with mm -hmm. Jimmy Moore. But he used a, a nice analogy that I thought was very applicable in this situation. He said a lot of times this can be likened to debt. If you have an accumulation of debt, say student loans or unpaid credit cards or things like that, it's, it's similar in your metabolic damage. Mm -hmm. That depending on how much debt you have accumulated over the years also coincides with how long it can take you to pay off that said debt. So okay. same with your metabolic damage. If you have been le leading the standard American diet for a significant part of your life, then it will probably take you a little bit longer than say someone who's 20 years old and has only been eating this way for a certain amount of time. So it's your body's debt. It's your metabolic debt and you're trying to pay it off, but sometimes that can take a little while. And so, right. And so sometimes with that, it's just going to be a matter of time exactly. and your body kind of healing, uh, your metabolism speeding up. And right. so it's just, that's just part of, uh, some of our, lives just yes. because we've like and your you body said, likes to keep itself in a stable state or homeostasis so sometimes it takes a while for your body to say okay we're okay we're not we're not in danger so we can release some of this weight because right. you know yeah historically we've kept fat in times you know for famine and when we couldn't find food and things like that well that's not the the case anymore but right. sometimes you right. know your body has to and, realize that. and it can be and i know we know it can be frustrating mm -hmm. it can be uh frustrating or even discouraging this especially if you see other people yeah losing, it can be but or, you it know, is on facebook or but work. sometimes yeah. it's just that's just because we are all different right and so it's important this is not one of our points but it's important that you that you are careful not to compare yourself to other people because and that's easier said than done i get that but we are all different individuals our bodies right. are different our experiences are different and i think that kind of coincides and, with point number three right so what is point number three because i'm gonna let you talk about okay. that because i don't know <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know what some of this meant. well i was talking about um if you suffer from hormonal imbalances you can have pcos which i had to explain to I cj what that, that was. was i didn't even know what that was so that's polycystic ovarian syndrome that's where you have um more androgen in your body, so that's more of a male hormone, and it can cause you to grow cysts on your ovaries, it can give you irregular cycles, it can make fertility difficult. Um, sometimes um, thyroid disorders will coincide with that or be separate, or adrenal disorders. And what I was talking about, what I was referencing just a minute ago, is not just hormonal imbalances, but just the difference in hormones between men and women. The way that we lose between the sexes can be very different. Sometimes it takes women longer to lose weight. Not that they can't lose the same amount that a man can lose, but sometimes on a low carb or ketogenic diet, a man will lose a significant amount of weight much more quickly. Mm -hmm. And where, whereas women can still lose a significant amount of weight, but sometimes it takes them a longer period of time and it takes their body longer to get started sometimes. So that can be a frustration, but it is part of the reasons why it happens. Right, right. Uh, number four, old age. Yes. And um, and this kind of ties in with the hormones. Mm -hmm. Is as we age, it's just a fact of life. Uh, you know, men we deal with low testosterone. Mm -hmm. uh, women deal with would it be low estrogen or high estrogen? It could be either. It could be either. So you know, you can you can have. A premenopause, perimenopause, okay. postmenopause. For women, your whole life is a series of cycles of you know where you're at. If you're in your childbearing years, if you're in puberty, I mean, mm -hmm. estrogen is a big deal and will be a big deal forever. So, and that right. can and and with age, yeah, those things change and right. it's just a natural part of because life because you start running out of hormones. And yeah. so, you know, sometimes you need to figure things out and that's where definitely um, being comfortable with your primary care provider and making sure that you're getting the necessary tests as you age for men, having your testosterone checked, right. for women making sure that you know where you're at in, you know, in your fertility cycles and if you're right. getting close to menopause and making sure that your estrogen 
and progesterone balances are correct. If you feel like you're having difficulty, more difficulty than you're expecting with your weight loss on the ketogenic diet, then it might be something to consider is having some hormonal tests done. Yeah. Yeah, we were kind of talking about some of that the other day. Yeah, you just reach a certain age and sometimes that's just what they do because right. you are a certain age. And you can, you know, you can work with your physician to right. have tests. And especially if you have a family history. If you have, like I have a family history of thyroid disorders, so mm -hmm. that's generally something okay. that I try and stay on, on top of because not only, you know, can that happen just randomly, but if you have a family history, then of course, you know, you're probably already aware of it and... But you might not always think about it in this frame as, you know, is this preventing me from losing right. weight as right. easily this, as I should this be? Help, is this keeping right. me as a slow right. loser as right. we quote unquote have called this? Uh, right. Number five, you know, you might be close to your goal weight. So, you know, that's just a fact of life and people don't like to hear that. But as you get closer to your ideal weight... Now yeah, you, talk, you were talking about something the other day. You said something about your set point or the, what was that? Your set point is, a, is homeostasis is another word for it. And that means that your body, it's a weight that your body feels most comfortable with. And a lot of people, sometimes that can be like your high school weight or your weight when you were a young adult. And generally, you, if you reach that point then sometimes your body has a natural inclination to want to stay Or as there. you get close to that point, you, exactly. may, you, you may also start slowing down. Right, because your body likes consistency. It doesn't mm -hmm. like surprises. It doesn't like stress. So a lot of times it will try and keep you at a weight that it feels comfortable with, and maybe you personally don't want to stay at that weight. Maybe you would like to continue losing. So it can be difficult to get past that sometimes, and you, you know... It might take you longer. Also, if you only have a small amount of weight to lose in the first place. You know, yeah, there are some true. people who that's only true. want to lose 10, 15, 20 that's pounds. True. And so it's not going to be the same for you as it's going to be for somebody who's starting out trying to lose like 100 pounds. No, that's, that's so. a good point because it's funny. I, I, would, I repost sometimes and people are like, I, got, I want to lose 10 pounds. And I'm <laughs> and like, like, seriously? Oh, really? I'm wow, like, okay. Wow, I wish I had only had, wanted to lose 10 pounds. But that goes back to the not comparing yourself yes, to someone because yeah, maybe those all... 10 pounds are like, a, you know. Yes. And, and, you know, maybe someone looks at you and thinks, okay, you're already thin, you don't need to lose any more weight, but maybe you're uncomfortable with um, yes. your body fat ratio yes, or yes. your cholesterol levels yeah, or whatever the case may be. We're, we're all different and we all have a different picture of ourselves and what we think what we, we want. What we think we should look what like. What we think and, we should look like. Right. And so that's kind of a personal thing. Well, and but, you know, we've talked about realism in the yeah, past. Yeah, we've talked about that. fat and, eyes. Fat yeah. eyes and it's, but I I do remember even before keto, I used to look at like before and after pictures of people, and I'm like, geez, I wish I could look like, like that. Like their before, before picture, like their before I know, picture. right? Right. I would totally. have taken like, that. That's okay with me. Yeah, yeah. And so we're all different, and you know, you everybody's individual goals are different. But it but, is going to get more difficult. But yeah, but keep in mind as you get closer to your what you think your goal right, weight is, and your it may your slow goals down. could change. You might end up you know, wanting to lose even more after you've reached your goal weight because maybe to you, you think that's possible now because you've been successful on keto. Right. And on the other end of the scale, you might reach something that is initially higher than what you expected to weigh, but you're you're satisfied with your appearance and your health. So right. your right. goals change. Right. And, and I'll say, I'll add this one. This is something I've been thinking about is, you know, because I've been kind of... Um, so my weight has kind of leveled off. I've lost inches, but some of those inches come and go mm -hmm. depending on the, the week, the day, it kind of comes and goes. And again, that can be frustrating even for people who have a keto channel. We right. <laughs> talk about keto. We talk about keto all the time. Keto all all the time. Keto. It can be frustrating <laughs> for, for, for us as well. I'm going to speak for me. It can be frustrating. I get it. So, but this kind of leads to the next point. Approach keto as a long-term not just a diet, but a long-term view of what keto can do a for lifestyle. your body, a lifestyle, and 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 think about all the benefits. So the the, the weight loss is definitely a benefit, and it's yes. a the weight loss helps with a lot of the other areas. Right, because losing weight can yes. help your health markers. Just yes. losing weight, can but help there that. are a lot of other benefits related to keto, and so you know, kind of take 
keep a long-term approach to this, to the keto lifestyle. Uh, we always are advocates of not just using keto as a diet. You do what you want to do, but keep making keto as a lifestyle. And because there are ex ex a lot of benefits and more and more benefits and th that are being discovered all the time. Right. You know, mental well, clarity, sometimes... uh, inflammation going away. Yeah. Or markers being changed. Exactly. Um, of course, the weight loss. Anxiety and depression. And so there's a lot of benefits. And when I was kind of doing some research, uh, it's funny because there's a lot of articles being published, not just by keto people, but by other just regular publications because keto is such a big deal. Yes. So I actually found a pretty good article by Reader's Digest, believe wow. it or not. That's big time. About keto and the benefits of keto. Mm -hmm. I'll link it to it. And it actually referenced a lot of keto people experts ex keto experts that we trust that we trust <laughs> yeah. um and so I, I thought that was interesting that people are starting to take notice but again it's keep in mind the long-term thinking as it relates to keto well and, and keto as you're diet. starting to get some of these benefits that that coincides with sometimes your body will will release weight last after you have gotten some of these benefits because then once again your body feels like it's in a safe place mm. to release what you don't need so sometimes it's not until you get healthy mm -hmm. then you can actually start to significantly lose weight because your body feels safe mm. so. okay that's a good point well so that is our keto conversation you have anything else you want to add i don't think so okay i think i talked enough so if you're new here we do these keto conversations every week um, we'd love to hear your thoughts about this, if we've said anything, or you have any other thoughts about about this subject or things that you've learned in your keto journey, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um, we do these every Wednesday, we do new, new recipes every Sunday, and are we ready to talk about our new recipe? For this are Sunday? you ready to talk about it? Well, are you making something? I'm not making anything. <laughs> I'm not making anything at CJ's Keto Kitchen. And that's that's a joke at our house because we get asked a, a lot about why it's called CJ's Keto Kitchen. But Sarah does, what, 99% of all the cooking? No. Well, yeah, I do the cooking, but I don't do 99% of the work. No, you do 99%. <laughs> After the cameras you shut do 99%, off, I'm done. But you do 99% <laughs> of the cooking. Yes, I do. And I think people think that is all that goes into... If you have a YouTube channel, you realize that yeah. there's so much that goes into the editing and publication But process. are you ready to talk about Nick, this yes, video? Yes, I am going to be making keto bagels. Keto everything bagels. Okay. So... I'm excited about that. Yeah. yeah. It's made with a fathead dough, and we have other fathead dough recipes mm -hmm. on our blog, and we'll be talking about those because it's a really nice alternative if you're missing those kinds of things. If you're missing yeah. bready things, bagels, you know, just yeah. yummy. Um, and if you are a subscriber, um, you know, I'm not even sure how to, to, to do this, but there's uh, something in YouTube called the Community Tab. And you can turn it somehow on in your settings mm -hmm. in YouTube. And we sent out, like the day we sent out something about uh, the pigs in a blanket recipe. Mm -hmm. Which um, uses the fathead dough. Which uses the fathead dough. That's what made, made me think yeah. about it. Um, so we we are trying to incorporate the community settings in YouTube a little bit yeah. more. We can just drop a little quick notes about things. or uh, We also are, have been talking about having some things that are exclusive for Maybe subscribers for the blog. Maybe things hit the blog first or Facebook first. We're trying to figure out how to do that. And we're also well. interested in trying to have a live chat video. So if that's yeah. something that you guys would like to see or would like to participate in, please let us know in yeah. the comments. Yes, let us know if, if you want, want that us you to do watch. a live, like a live keto conversation. Yeah, that's like what on we're kind of or about. you know on the weekend. Be, you know, yeah, it would be on a weekend. Weekend. So yeah, just let us know. Well, let us know. Uh, we'll put a. I'll put a poll as well in this in this video. <laughs> we hope that you have a great rest of the week, and we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Peace. Peace.